So now I want to give my video clip just a little bit more polish. So let's go back onto our video clips and we're going to select the video just to bring up some of the enclosed templates. And I'm going to choose this file here. I want to add this after my second clip. The easiest way to do this is to go into storyboard view and just click and drop it in there. Now that's placed that into the timeline and we can see it's there. At this stage now I also want to add a still photograph. So let's go into photos, scroll down to the bottom. My logo has been placed into my photos folder. It is a JPEG file. And I'm going to put this on as a overlay track. So click on there and we drag it into the overlay track which is a track below your timeline. And I'm also going to stretch this out so it fits in perfectly there. Okay so this isn't exactly the way I want things to be. I want to also rotate the image. So let's go on to effects and let's choose rotate and we're just going to drop the rotate filter onto the clip like so. Okay it's, it's not quite perfect yet so let's click on the options and we're going to customize this filter by just clicking on customize which brings up another dialog panel and I happen to have worked out that the rotation at the beginning needs to be 355 and also the rotation at the very end point needs to be 355 and this actually just keeps it at an angle there and that's the angle I want and also I don't want these black borders around there so I'm going to change the background color to pure white. Let's click OK. So now we've got the image roughly following the same angle as the book on the background there so let's place that there. I want to get rid of the white background well there's a very easy method to do this and we're going to use a chroma key method. Generally speaking chroma keys are applied to green or blue but you can actually apply them to any color you like. So let's go to mask and chroma key and I'm going to go on to apply overlay options. It's actually picked out the most prominent color which in this case is white but if it was green we could also use a sampler and select a green. And as you can see on this preview window, let's enlarge this here, you can see that the logo has actually been cut out from the white background and I can place it anywhere I like on there. And that looks okay to me. And also want to animate this logo. So let's have it coming in from the left hand side and we're going to have it rotating as it comes in and we're going to finish on the right here and that should be OK. So now let's preview and see what we've got exactly. And we start off with our rotor sketching, sketching the image which then feeds into the static four seconds of image background and now we've got our animated title which then goes into the giraffes walking across the woodland scene in the morning, etc. Another filter I want to quickly show you is the anti-shake filter. Now if we look at this clip here we can see that this is actually suffering a lot from camera shake and this is a result of holding the camera and without a tripod. And we can easily eliminate this by using the anti-shake filter so just click on that and just drag and drop it onto our clip and we can go to the options, we can customize the filter and we can see exactly what we're going to get. By default it's already applied a 5 setting and you can see the right hand side has got the anti-shake applied. The left hand side, if you look at the top of the trees there, you can see the trees moving. You can actually increase this amount. At the moment I've got it set to 5. So if we go back to the beginning there, we can set this to a value of something like 8 and try it again and this will give a steadier picture. Say OK. Of 
Of course there's no real substitute for using a very steady camera and a tripod, but the anti-shake filter will rescue some clips which may not have been salvageable before. Video Studio Pro X3 comes complete with approximately 67 filters and we can actually apply several filters to one file. Just make sure that you uncheck the replace last filter and now grab hold of another filter or effect and drop it onto your file and now we can see that we've got two effects applied to this file. The filters are grouped into easy to find categories so we can just click on the library and now we can see that we've got darkroom, natural painting, new blue sample effects and special title effects etc. Video Studio Pro X3 also has a series of transitions and transitions are where we blend one frame or one scene into the next and we can go into the library here and select the all. And now all we need to do is just click on one of the previews here. You can see exactly how this transition works. Each one of them in turn and we can apply a transition by simply clicking on it and dragging it and dropping it between two clips. And now when we play this clip the transition is automatically applied. We can actually adjust the transition so if we want it to last a little bit longer, come in a little bit earlier, we can just drag the edges of it. Now this will apply the transition over a longer period, maybe one second. Although another easier way would be to actually click on the transition itself and then go into the options and now we can set our duration. As you can see I've set it for one second and we can also apply the direction of the barn doors. All the transitions can be fully customized in this way. We can also add titles to our tracks. So let's click on the title button and we can see some predefined animated titles here. And I'm just going to choose a very simple one. We'll drag that one and drop it into the title track which is the third track down and stretch it out to cover the entire length of my last clip here and now I can just double click on this and we'll change the name to in and out of Africa and that looks fine to me and now we can just move this around to where we want it to be and we change all sorts of things like the fonts, size, colors and we can preview this clip together with a title effect and that looks fine to me. Now generally video editing requires very high specified computers but Corel's Video Studio Pro X3 has been optimized to work with most desktop computers so you can get on and be creative with your videos. Video Studio Pro X3 comes complete with high quality templates, special effect filters, animated titles, sound effects and mood music from Smart Sound. In fact, everything you may need to help you produce spectacular movies. Here is the short Africa movie, together with a smart sound audio track.